Three girls from MO, Annie, Frankie and Nadine against one Chris Stark today on Innuendo Bingo. He's going to get it in the face. Don't use the bin girls, it's just there for show. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of uh, big gulps of water. Let's make this a wet one because it's the first Innuendo Bingo for quite some time. So, are you ready for it? Ready. Right then, are we ready? ready. Right, yeah. okay. uh, let's get the water. The water Bye. sometimes can be cold. Please don't swear. Oh, okay. Don't do a hodor. <laughs> are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> Hodor was terrible when he came on. Oh, he was a great guy, but yeah. Anyway, so uh, let's break the ladies in oh with one of our favourites from the afternoon show over the last couple of weeks. If you're, if you're online watching right. me at the moment, I'm actually covering the massive bump on my head on purpose, which is why I've got a rubbish fringe. <laughs> okay, so it's MasterChef. And John Tarot is never normally this complimentary about the contestants. Apparently, uh, he's got a special reason to like this one. Here we go. It's delicate, it's sweet, it's salty. What I really love is the sticky surface of your legs. <laughs> <laughs> if it's going to blow, don't use your hands. It's got to go over each other. John Tarot there. Talking about chicken legs. The sticky surface of your legs. Thanks, John. Oh. Okay. More water, please. Big gulp of water. Mm. Over to last night's <laughs> gadget show on Channel 5 now. And while testing out some cooking gadgets, the narrator is quite amazed at what people manage to find time to do in the kind of hectic environment of a professional kitchen. You won't believe this. Now it's time for plating up. Come on over, my friends. Huh? There's a bit more fingering. <laughs> <laughs> and we're off. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the log plane. Oh, my God. oh wow. <laughs> Apparently the guy had been fingering the dishes all afternoon. I don't know why. There's a bit more fingering. There we are. Isaac oh, emailed that one in. <laughs> I'm crying. Oh. Here we go. OK, and we're on. <laughs> M.O. are playing Innuendo Bingo. This is going to be a good one, I can tell. Now over to this weekend's Sunday brunch. And Simon Rimmer is... That's not one. He's offering his guests a little munch on what he's serving up on Sunday brunch this week. And it seems to be a taste that Simon's quite familiar with. So that's all on next week's show. Okay. There we go. Have a dig in on that. So what you get is that lovely penis you taste, get the jam underneath. <laughs> Simon Rimmer there, oh talking about the uh, the peanutty taste that you can get. That lovely peanutty taste. Thanks, Tom, and loads of other people for spotting that one. <laughs> back back to the weekend before last now, and a clip, a new clip from the London Marathon, where commentators Brendan Foster and Steve Cram are taking a little too close a look at Paula Radcliffe's performance. No one was expecting to see this. She's usually been out on her own, but there's Paula looking good. Joe, just to say, I've just looked at her split. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is getting ridiculous. It's getting wet in her. <laughs> What's happening? The is dry. This is right. Wow. Nadine's getting it out. Paula Radcliffe there. Uh, on the London Marathon. Joe, just to say, I've just looked at a split. That's uh, Warren emailing that to me. Scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. <laughs> now it's time for another recent favourite. This clip made Radio 1's film critic Rihanna laugh so much we had to end the game early so that she could receive urgent medical attention. It's from the boat race. Now, as the boats round the second bend... This female commentator's very familiar relationship with the Oxford team becomes a massive distraction, just at the moment where she needs to really kind of focus on the task in hand. The wind and the tide working in opposition. I don't know if you can hear it at home, but I've got the Oxford cocks in my ear. <laughs> 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 She, uh, she had an earpiece so that she could uh, listen to the, the Oxford captain. I don't know if you can hear it at home, but I've got the Oxford cocks in my ear. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Who's wettest? Who's wettest? 
I think we're all drenched now. Drenched. No, yeah. Nadine's still too dry for my liking. Yeah. Mm. She's wetter is it than wetter? Than <laughs> is it wetter than expected? Yeah. Wetter than wet. Wetter than yeah. wet. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear it at home, but I've got the Oxford cocks in my ear. Back to just yesterday on a bank holiday edition of BBC Breakfast. Now, Carol Kirkwood, gotta love Carol. She's on the weather duty as always. And here, Carol seems to know exactly what her TV viewers like to get up to on their extra day off. In the south, drier and brighter with some sunshine, but in the north, we still are prone to some showers. But whatever you're doing this bank holiday, if you're having it off, well, do enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you're doing this bank holiday, if you're having it off... <laughs> oh, last minute spurt there. <laughs> You're not happy about your hair situation, are you? <laughs> Water, please. Now, as for Carol, we all know what Carol oh. Kirkwood likes to get up to in her spare time. Water. I've even had my photograph taken from down below and tweeted. Mo, we're playing in the bingo. We're getting them very wet, so we're not going to get their song preach. <laughs> now we're going over to BBC Two for Escape to the Country, where we find out there's only one thing you need to remember if you're going to the New Forest, but it's advice you really do need to stick to, however tempted you are to ignore it, Chris. Apart from, you know, visitors coming to the New Forest, reducing their speed, what else can they do to maintain this wonderful tradition? Please don't feed the ponies. No. <laughs> Big temptation for people to feed <laughs> Oh, wow. That was evil. <laughs> oh, wow. yeah, Chris is getting actual water chucked on him now oh, by on, the rest of the on, girls. Calm down. Calm down. Please don't feed the ponies. No. Big temptation for people to feed the ponies. It certainly is. Team. I've been ganged up on. It's been my team. Sorry. <laughs> OK. And finally, a classic from Collectaholics. Now, the, shoe produ the show's producers regretted asking Mel off of Mel and Sue to do the voiceover for this show. She kind of kept talking in weird metaphors. No, metaphors? No, metaphors. <laughs> it's late. Now, uh, is this one or not? Water, should we, please. Should we go for this? Yeah, let's go, go for, for this one. Right? I don't know whether it's one or not. <clears throat> but will evaluation convince Stuart mm. to sell? And will I get that pork pie in the buffet? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even completely understand it. No. Water throwing. Stop. Oh, no. Will I get that pork pie in the buffet? Absolute chaos. <laughs> chaos on innuendo bingo with M.O. But that was fun, right? Did you enjoy it? I've never done anything quite like it. That was brilliant. It. I mean, it's, it's better than your standard interview about the new single. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Thanks, M.O. Really nice to see you. Good luck with Preach on the chart on Sunday. One.